frankly, it's annoying. Whenever I listen to podcasts, I can't wait till they're done riffing and talking about something with legs. I would rather them talk about the craft of I'd, comedy I'd rather, than riffing. Yeah, I'm not seriously. Kidding. I'd rather watch them fight. I'd rather watch anything Literally than riffing anything because riffing is disingenuous and it's not real. It's like they're trying to impress people. I've never laughed. Cheers. At a joke that will came you from have one with me for God's sakes? Oh, okay, I will. Oh, not you, the the audience, oh, the guys. You, you hey guys, sorry about no. I know you, you can have one. I, no, it's okay. No, I'll give you an allotment. Because I was going to make a beautiful dinner after this, and I don't want to be all. Oh loopy. yeah, and I don't want to do the dinner at all. I'll have a drink with dinner. You're getting the I dinner. I don't like that. So we hate riffing over here. That's a new thing, and pass that on. You riffing? That's cringe. People haven't even thought of this yet. No riffing is. Cringe. They'll realize, right? Opie and Anthony were big. Remember that old show, Colin Quinn riffing? Oh, I want to what? Uh, and it's an actually you're watching these people do improv exercises, camp exercises, stuff you would do. You wouldn't want to watch a singer go la 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 la, la and then watch his friend. Okay, let me do an exercise. <laughs> Stop it. Volleying, they call it. I volley Volleying with back some, and forth with these murderers. I volley in the back gym. and forth with murderers. I'm in the gym. This is how Brendan Schaub describes it: volleying with murderers in the gym. Especially Practice. with the podcast that I do with Brian Kellen and Theo, it's like yeah. you know I'm in the gym volleying back and forth with these monsters. I, I can't. A guy in the chat says, "I hate comedian riffing. I love comedian rifting." Yes. <laughs> So here they are, and this is a riff show. It's got no heart. It is completely disgusting, but we're here to show you how vile the set is. And once I get a wide shot, tell me, and I'll give it a pause. Here we go. Strong. Cheers. But we could, too, can play that game, though, you know? Irish ping pong players. Let's <laughs> ping go. Pong, ping oh pong. my God. Let's go. That's what my point is, is that you go weightlifting, I can go ping pong. My point is- I'll is beat you in ping pong. The way you guys roast each other, it's like you've been friends for years. I hate that. And this is what their crowd is. Is it like. people who like don't have funny conversations with their friends or their it, friends? That don't, could be. Maybe people like when oh, I wow. hang out with all my friends, everyone's it's joking so and laughing, and it's everyone's funny because they're laughing. all friends. What if there are such nerds out there? They've never had friends. And, and joked around like this so to them this is a treat they Whoa, never that I could be it good. and they're on the internet they're alone they're travis zell we've seen him if i saw this person irl after watching this like if i knew him like if i saw him personally in real life i'd say listen buddy you're fucking stupid as fuck and i would love to hear what you think about me because now it's just me and you buddy boy what if in their life they've had so few laughs with buddies that when they see this, they're like, this is like having friends. <gasps> you guys are. Michael is upon us. It is time to seek refuge. I think now I have to have a drink after discovering that. That's what's happening. So this whole world is really being run by the underground. You know, we're basing everything we think that's going on in reality is really being based off either, oh, it's a bunch of lesbians saying this bullshit, or a bunch of fucking autismos clogging up the... You two are bad friends. Who are these two idiots? Bad friends. My dude, I'm an Asian dude. You guys are weird. Andrew looking good. Have you seen a Korean guy around here? Oh, Bobby. You two are sociopaths. You two are disgusting. You guys are nuts. You guys are sick. You two are wholesome and decent. They had people record this or are these clips from some cartoon? And it's like, can we end the thing where the theme of their podcast is like, I'm a bad guy. I'm a crazy guy. Can you believe yeah, that? Yeah, and if you, want, shitty? if you want to, uh, <laughs> like, to, to be a bad guy, then tell people the things that you do that are bad, like the cheating on your wife that you do. Why don't you talk about that? He's like, I'm a bad guy. Because I don't play by the rules. Yeah, you do. You play by all of them, Andrew. What does Andrew Santino do that makes him a risk? A guy once came up to him and then he went back. Hey, what the fuck? Do you know who you're talking oh, to? Oh, that's what it is. Yeah. When somebody says, hey, you're funny, but you're not the best. And I tell him, yeah, fuck off, Salamander. Yeah, I don't play by the rules. I tell fans to fuck off. Is that it? 
Are you going to talk about the cheating? Because that would make sense. When my wife lays at home, I cheat on her with uglier girls. Oh, good. You two are back together. You guys are free. Here we go. You are a bad friend. You two are dangerous when you coordinate. You yes, two are course. dangerous. You two are We're bad friends. Hey, hey, that, those, those are supposed to be turned. Does that look right on camera? Pause. The Why? way that oh. the... Um, you told me to pause. Yeah, you got me. it. Yeah, here we go. Hey, yeah. hey, that those those are supposed to be turned. Is that look right on? This is their set. Take a look. This isn't a joke. They built this set. So somebody found out who this group was. I, I'm not quite ready today to talk about this. We're going to do some more research, but we're doing an investigation here because there is a production group, a media conglomerate. That is responsible for all of these shows. They've learned the tricks and they've got 10 or 11 podcasts under their name and they just implement the same strategy for all of them. So they've got probably, uh, you know, a bunch of tips and tricks that they use to get these guys subscribers. You know, the minute they launched this YouTube page, it had 20,000 subs and they're very quick. They could build a podcast up in 10 hours to hell and back just like gordon ramsay but they do a very very piss poor job not only is the video and audio usually very very cheap looking but so are the sets and here's their newest set remember they rent an office space and in every corner of the room it's not that each podcast gets their own room each podcast gets their own corner <laughs> So in this corner of the room, you have Santino set up. Maybe in the other corner, it's King and the Sting. Over here is Fighter and the Kid, and they just take the camera in the middle of the room and spin it around. How cheap is this? Isn't there something so lacking from that experience? Boom. Build up a podcast. It's got a fan base already. The set's done. Everything's done overnight. Boom. I in know, a like, corner a of a musical, room. Like, say a band came out and they already yeah, had that. Everyone there you would go. be like, this sucks. I don't, yeah, this imagine is bands I being don't be pumped out. This. Imagine every band you like, every member split off and did 10 other CDs because they're like, hey, we're on fire right now. Let's do it. That's what your comedians are doing to you. And they got nothing to say to each other. They're just fucking... They look at the clock. They only do an hour and 24 minutes usually. And they're just like, as long as we could keep yapping... For an hour and 24 minutes, we get to split $30,000 in ad revenue. You get 15, I get 15, and we just, all we gotta do, it's like the movie Speed. As long as you don't go under 50 miles an hour, we're fine. But they ain't got nothing to say. There's no reason you should be actually sitting here. They're just, I just gotta keep talking so I can get that 30K. And that's what's happening. Look at this set. They made the Santino's mic cord orange and bobby yes. Lee's yellow and like the, in the comments people are Everyone, like um, it's can you cheap. believe that they made the cords bobby orange. lee is chinese therefore oh. the yellow cord and santino is cheeto so therefore the orange that's like the highest level of creativity these ever <laughs> have put in anything like this it's so sickening the set literally there's not a furniture store you could walk into that has a worse display than what we're seeing right now. I hate right that I now. get so like upset and yelly whenever we cover this kind of topic, but I it's just so crazy. It makes me feel like I don't belong in this world, yeah. this comment section. So they're <laughs> sitting at a computer desk, something that you would buy for, you know, uh, some worker that you didn't give a shit about when you're... And, and what you're doing is you're trying to jazz the office up. You're not that old-fashioned cubicle company you've got some pretty modern desks and it's like this 179 dollar probably get this at staples you've got this wallpaper they've put a textured wallpaper they think that looks cool it looks like it's all been done by hand by the way purple i mean really the carpet's the not even stapled the in carpet and the wall blue colors is like yeah. Who are you? Who you got to see it. To and here's what I want you to do. Go to the Bad Friends podcast on YouTube or click on our video um, here at redbarradio.net. You can't even describe how bad this is. It's just awful. You'll see. Your eye will see. But there was a part. Nobody caught this part. They're going to talk about the set. Would you like to hear about the set? Yes, please. All right. We're going to go to 109.19. 
One of my favorite time codes, 10919. But this is how much they care about you. This is my point. They throw this piece of shit environment together within 24 hours. They got these fucking interns from this production company that we're going to get into soon who's doing all this. And they just throw up whatever the fuck they want. You know, they might have spent $265 on the whole shebang. Meanwhile, they're making 30 grand an app. Don't you want them to care about the product a little bit more as a viewer? Wouldn't you like to see them put in some effort? If you're going to be sitting around with them for an hour and a half staring at this one shot, can't it be a little easier on the eyes? And one more complaint here. It's the Bad Friends podcast, yeah. right? About these two riffers yeah. tearing it up. So what does that have to do with succulents, a little hourglass? Nothing. Like, how is this showing I off mean, your personality Literally, all? I have a uh, skin doctor that I went to that's got a cooler waiting room than this. Okay? <laughs> uh, you go to any dentist office, you're in a cooler environment. A dentist office is like a nightclub compared to this set. Right. That's how lame... This is H&R Block has a more high-end atmosphere than this. People should start being offended with these cash grab nonsense. The set represents nothing of the audience or the person's personality. Who would want to spend a minute in this environment here? So and let's people see. are saying that they're sitting four inches from the wall. It's awful. That's because they're just in a tiny office. Yeah, they're they in rent. a corner. They're each in a corner. It's not an office. They can't. It's not good enough that they spend money on one office. That would be a waste. They'd be leaving money on the table. There's probably another set in the other corner of the room. And that's why <laughs> you should be upset. Well, I said, yes, there are three other sets. Yeah. This isn't probably. There are. Yeah. I've seen the wide shots. Um, that's why you should be upset. They're taking your money. It's a scam. They don't put any effort into it. And it's all taking up your time, okay? Your time is worth more than this. And meanwhile, they get to go out and eat whatever they want tonight on your dollar. Let's listen to a little insight on the set. Would you like to hear what they think of the set? Here we go. Maybe Bobby is onto something here. Yeah. You want to see a video? No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. We have a homemade video. No, 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 watch no, it? no, no, no. Let me pull it up. No, but your anger... Your anger. Are you gonna? My anger today was because let's let's tell the crew real quick what's going on. Let's tell people that are here's here's the thing. We didn't when we came into this today, Listen. we worked so hard on putting this studio together. This is a brand new beautiful studio. It's incredible. Okay. This is a brand new beautiful studio. It's incredible. I mean, there is that. This looks like uh, you go to somebody's bullshit house in Wisconsin. And the baby's room is also where the dad has his computer desk. <laughs> I mean, that's literally what this looks like. Yes. I, I, you, you couldn't pay me to spend a minute in this room. I wouldn't sleep here if it was this or jail. Jail has a cooler look to it than this. For real. And they're describing it as a beautiful studio. Now, the other part that I wanted you to catch is they put this all together minutes before they were supposed to go on air. So it wasn't even, they didn't even have enough thought or care for the audience to do this in advance. They got there. The set wasn't even built. They put it together two hours before they went on air. Listen, you're going to hear them describe this. This is really shitty. Let's here. tell the crew real quick what's going on. Let's tell people that are, here's, here's the thing. We didn't, when we came into this today, we worked so hard on putting this studio together. This is a brand new, beautiful studio. It's incredible. Okay. Bobby gets to float in on a fucking cloud. Yeah, of course. Like a video game character. <laughs> like it's a, a fucking, like it's a special power. So Santino was there like his character on Curb with the fucking belt hanging up shelves himself. Look at this shitty space. So a Santino candle. was helping out. <laughs> like it's a, a fucking, like it's a special power. And he floats in and he, first thing he comes in, he's like, this color's bad. Fuck this color. I don't wow. like it blue. Oh, did you do that? Oh, oh, I'm, Joe I got I'm Joe Pitchy. So he's mocking Bobby for coming in. You know, this guy came from a professional world before when a comedian had to be on actual TV or do something professional to have uh, a name for themselves. Nowadays, it's just nonsense and shit. But Bobby Lee comes in and he goes, no, 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 I'm from Matt. This looks horrible. This blue is terrible. This is all terrible. And none of them get it. Everyone else is like, what? It's fine, bro. 
So Bobby Lee, but you know, he's worked on TV before. You would you would never see a set like this on TV. Not even Mad TV, where the sets are temporary just for one sketch. They wouldn't even have a set this bad. Yeah. This color's bad. Fuck this color. I don't like the blue. Oh, did you do that now? Oh, uh, I'm, Joe I got that I'm Joe Pitchy. Uh, <laughs> 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 and he complained about the shelf because George didn't put up the shelf yet because George was a bit rewiring stuff. George. And we, were, we were falling behind on time schedule-wise. But you, you came in and, and you were early, which pissed me off. It fucking pissed me Why, off. Why? Because I'm responsible? You're never early, dude. I'm o So oh. the theme of this show, and they're going to go out of their way, it's not only riffing, they find reasons to bicker with each other because they had a moment on their show where they got into it with each other and everyone loved it. So what they do is they try to create an environment to have an argument, you see. It's all a put on. So Santino will try to find something. What they want, they're chasing this little back and forth fight as if that's what an audience wants for an hour and a half straight just because they had a fun moment on their show. Now they're going to try to recreate Oh, if we just bicker, something funny. Well, we're both such monsters that if we just bicker, it's going to be gold. That's what they've discussed. George, am I early? Time out. What time did he tell you to be here? Three o'clock. No way. Yeah. You were here at 2.20. I know. Because You're... I had therapy in Encino. Yeah. Would you want me to wait down the street in a car? Oh, you I live know... five seconds from here. So do I. We live five seconds from here. I was surprised that you were early. It fucked me up. I was building a table and you came in and you criticized His things. So you turned me on. <laughs> the veins. He and then, had uh, an oversized Allen wrench that he was fucking cranking with his shit. All for this. All for this. People are starting to bash this. Finally on Reddit. Go to their Reddit. <laughs> I realize he has little pop marks on his cheeks like Edward James oh. Olmo, right? <laughs> Would you so do you. So first Did of all, so do you. When you you zit face fucker, Whoa. you still have zits. How about some? See, this is the thing about Bobby Lee. He doesn't quite understand how to do this. So when he's <laughs> when Santino's doing this, he's like, "What could I do? Maybe that'll make it good." You've been leaving Santino a lot of don't Santino want Santino skin comments Wait, San lately. I noticed Santino don't want that. Santino's been trying to putty that shit in. He's been trying to fill those scars in for a while. Wait a minute here. Let's see if Santino gets shitty about this. Let's see. So first Did of all, so pin? do you. When you use zit face fucker. You still have zits. How about some Propecia or something? You still have or zits. Or proactive. You still have propecia, zits. Propecia, Propecia, <laughs> Proactive. You can tell he's really mad because he's just repeating himself. That's what people do when they're stuck. You see it all the time when a black guy gets arrested. What I do? 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 They, can't, they get in a loop because they know that they're in trouble. Uh... Santino was doing this thing. You have zits. You have zits. You have zits. You have zits. Because in reality, he's stuck. This is a tell. This is a tell. If you see people repeat like this, it's because they're having a little problem upstairs in the mind. First Did of all, so pit? do you. When you use zit face fucker. You still have zits. How about some Propecia or something? You still have or zits. Or proactive. You still have propecia, zits. Propecia, Propecia, <laughs> Proactive. <laughs> You still have zits, Four. by the way. I don't have any zits on my face right now. Dude, take Four a photo times. of our faces and go to a fucking dermatologist and go, who has worked? I can't do this. This is a, like retarded. Watch. One, two, three. I can't do it. I can't lift the last finger. Oh, it's I like I'm re either. I Really? Can't. See? Ah, uh, what the fuck? Am I retarded? I can do it. Ah, I can't. Even. Ah, fuck. I hate hands. I hate hands. I want to see this. I think Santino's getting really pissed here. You don't want to be called out as an acne-covered biatch. Let's see. He hates see. it when people notice his yeah. scarring. You have zits. You have zits. You have zits. You have zits. We heard you. But he zits on my face right now. Dude, take a photo of our faces and go to a fucking dermatologist and go, who has worse skin? This is this is a scar from my youth. Y yeah. Oh, but because you pop, pop. But the rest of I'm my face. I'm a nerd, and I don't wash yeah. my face. Pop. <laughs> yeah, fake laughing. Don't ever buy into this. I'm a nerd. Pop, pop. I like that. That's something I would say. Oh, yeah? Pop, pop. Pop, pop. I'm a nerd. Pop, pop. I like this Bobby Lee. We got to get him away from these hey, other guys. Hey, this Bad Friends is and kind of a good show. he knew that the set was shitty. He doesn't deserve He knows this. the show. I, see, this is like one of those guys. There's a couple guys in there. They're not all bad. They're so persuaded by the, the rest of these guys. I've always said I like Bobby Lee. Pop, 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 pop. You picking? 
picking at your fucking zits, you nerd, he says. Yeah, but because the, you pop, pop. But the rest I'm of my face. Nerd, pop, and I don't wash my face. Pop, pop. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. You wow. still have zits. Oh, I don't have wow, any zits on five. my face. That's six, I'd say. How about you say. come up with something, You Mr. still Riff. have zits. You still have zits. I'm the king riff guy. Look at you, parted on the side, dork. <laughs> Nerdy zit white. Scar from my youth. Y- yeah, but because the, you pop, pop. But the rest I'm of my a face. nerd, and pop, I don't wash pop, my face. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> it, it, fucking. You still have zits. I don't have any zits on my face. That's okay, crazy. well, it looks like it. It you looks like red, it. You, whole, your whole head looks like a fucking boil. This is just Whoa. red. It's this a red boil that they pop and a juice is Your whole up. head, your whole head yeah. you, okay, looks like a, like, you know the lemon head off. guy? That's what you look oh, like. The yellow lemon head guy. That's I'm watching dope. the whole show. No. Yep. I just suddenly got sickened when they started doing their riffing I know, smile. But and see, I needed it to end. Okay. You know how like, <sighs> my imagination is a hell of a thing. Oh, yeah. In my mind, I could concoct what I hope his mind is going through. And then I could actually watch it. People go, how do you sit through all this crap? This is well, how. it's because I can concoct what I think someone's feeling. And now I fully convinced myself that Santino is in hell and everything Bobby says is getting to him. And Santino is fake laughing. This is allowing my body and mind to watch the show even though that might not even be the case. That's called I could imagination. I for a second, but then suddenly I needed it to end. I've got a great imagination. Every teacher always said I had a great imagination and they weren't messing with me. <laughs> uh, okay, so there it is. The Bad Friends Podcast. Let's humiliate. Let's entice. Because ultimately Santino... Entice. Santino what? Doesn't have time for this shit. Nope. He doesn't have time for this. Italy. I'm thinking about going to Chicago and killing him myself. Italy, 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 Italy. Uh, there's this guy named Red Red Bar, and he's just like a hater. But he all he does is just trash all our friends. Like, uh, every comic we know. Me, trash. Santino. Oh, Santino. Is, I think Santino's about to go there and just murder him. You know? <laughs> I don't have time for this shit. I might actually go to Chicago and kill him. Italy. I'm from Naperville, Italy. I mean, Mike's imagination is a fascination. Thank you. Mike solves mysteries. Look at this shirt that Santino has on his website. I'd love to see it. He's selling his shirt now. The Red Rocker. The Red Rocker. Has Studi been... uh, I mean, this one's not annoying people bad, there today. But the fact that he picked this phrase oh, to make no, a shirt out of... Oh, no, he did one of these. Yep. No, he did not. He also has one that says, in here, I drink whiskey. Now, where did this style come from where you write? Um, I think it came from Epic Mealtime. Really? Yeah, Epic Mealtime came out with a shirt and was like, bacon, 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 bacon. Unless it came no, from somewhere No, it had to be that. something else and they mimicked it. But this is the most hack thing you could do where it's like, I've even seen people do it with like Jordan Peterson. They're like, Peterson and Ruben. Um, yeah, exactly. And Rogan and blah, blah, blah. What is this style called? Somebody must know where this came from. It is literally the most hacked. It, this was hacked three years ago. You know, the only yes, place. This, was you, hack, this came out in like 2009. Before this idea was even invented, it was all over Pinterest. That's how you know if something's hacked, if it's in abundance on Pinterest. Oh, they're saying it's from the Dave Matthews band. Is that true? Really? Do we have an example of this? How do you do this? It's Here. like in Helvetica, regular, lowercase, and they'll do these lines. Yeah, like this. It was the one that I sort thought it was sober. originally from, but Vegan I don't know. Vegan Steven, sort of sober. Look at this. Yeah, they did this on Epic Meal Time. Yes, yeah, that's what I just said. Bacon saying. strips and bacon strips and bacon strips and bacon strips. And they're still doing this. When was this? This was 2017. Is wow, Epic that's even meal late. time still on? They try, man. This Harley <laughs> is having a hell of a time. That guy's a fucking... Talk about a fool. Why, why am I seeing Studi's name being said still? Is he causing something now? No, yeah, just ignore him. It's from Hipster Runoff and Music Genres. Uh, <laughs> there was so clearly no thought put into that. So uh, look at this. 
This is Santino Shirt. It goes, ladies and gentlemen, my next guest is one of my favorite people on earth. And I say it for all my guests, but I mean it once again. Because that's what he says at the beginning See, of the show. Okay, so this proves to me he has so little rapport with his audience. Yes. He has no inside No interaction jokes even. Or interaction with anybody who watches the show so the only thing that he can think of to put right. on a shirt is the line that he repeats yeah. at the beginning of each show because and i could do this had... i mean and if it's about lines that uh people like i could make seven thousand shirts a day okay <laughs> imagine if i made about seven but eight thousand I mean, shirts the lines that we have with our fans are a product of us being friends with them exactly. and interacting with them and santino literally he doesn't care who's no listening. this isn't something him and his audience came up with this is something that he actually said five times in a row and his fans were like you say that every show and he's like uh uh i meant to say it every show see him and tom segura are alike what they do is the stuff that they make bits out of is mostly the stuff of their screw-ups let me explain like when Tom Segura, they built this disgusting set and everyone said it was like McDonald's. So Tom and Christina start pretending, oh yeah, welcome to our McDonald's set. We love McDonald's. No, no, no. Your fans were making fun of you. You decided to do this fake ownership of the error and now you're pretending like it's yours. I bet you anything, Santino, because on his show he's like, ladies and gentlemen, this next guy coming up on the show, he's one of my favorites. I really love this guy. He was probably disingenuously, ingenuinely, ingenuously saying this over and over again until he was called out. And then he tried to own it and make it something that he does all the time, you see. See, I think Santino is not even creative enough to capitalize on something like this without it being something like that. If you could believe that, which I do. So, so should you. One more drink. Go down to the beach, drink beers with the bros. Sure. Did you see Putin score 21 trade goals? I got a new I did t-shirt, water. so skip oh, the lecture. Cause you're talking to a female body inspector. Eating bad seafood leads to diarrhea. Russia's within its rights to annex the Crimea. When you go swimming, beware of sharks. We'll be drinking vodka with the